Hello everyone, let's move on to 2.1. Okay, it says, Leonard's girlfriend, Stephanie, was flying back to Cape Town from Vienna. Leonard decided to track the flight on the internet. A screenshot of all the flights that were in the air at the same time is included below. You are the most. Okay, Stephanie's plane is circled. Okay, there's Stephanie up in there. Okay, so it says, study this image and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so there's the ticket. Okay, that's quite important. And they've told us what each of these sort of uh, acronyms means or shortened words. I don't know if it's an acronym necessarily. So that's scheduled, actual time, estimated time, and central European time. Okay, so let's see what the questions are. Okay, it says, what time was Stephanie's flight scheduled to take off? So from what I can see over here, it is 10, 15. Okay, I don't know if that's in the morning or in 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 the evening. It just says ten is fifteen. It's probably in the morning, right? Because we see that the scheduled arrival time in Cape Town, right, is twenty two forty, right, which indicates that it's in the evening. So this is in the morning. So you can say a.m. if you want to, but no need. Okay, if the flight only took off at ten forty one Central European time, for how long was the flight delayed? Okay, so we basically have to say 10.41 was when it actually left and was expected to leave at 10.15. So we say 41 minus 15, okay, which gives us 26 minute, 26 minute delay. Okay, so she was just sitting in the plane or boarding the plane and it was just a little bit behind schedule. Okay. What is the total distance of the flight in miles? Okay, so we see over here, sorry, let me just move that up so that you can see it, right? That the screenshot that's been taken, so this is not the ticket necessarily, this is a screenshot that's been taken off Leonard, um, Leonard's computer, presumably, okay? And it's showing where she is in the world. So she's traveled that many miles and she got that many miles still to travel. So they've asked us for the total distance. So we must... Then say, it's basically traveled plus two travel, okay? So she's traveled 2047.2 miles, and she still has to travel 3,669 and a half miles. Let me just find my calculator, okay? So let's just plug that in, 2047.2 plus 36. 9.5. It's important to not just choose one of these, okay, because this is the distance that she's completed and the distance she still goes. So the total amount is both of those added together, okay? That's a very important thing to understand, okay? So the total was 5,716 and 7 miles. Now, you have to put in the miles, okay? Because remember, we they have asked us to put in a unit. It's important to put in the unit that they've asked us to, right? Otherwise, it's just this. It's just five thousand seven hundred sixteen point seven. Like, what does that refer to? It refers to miles, okay? It's important to be specific about what we're working on, okay? Last question for this video, okay? Leonard visited this website. Okay, while doing some research and read the following. Sure, Leonard is a very dedicated boyfriend, hey? Sure. Aviation data companies like FlightAware keep track of all or at least most of the aircraft in our skies. And according to them, in the past year, there was an average of, yo, that's hectic, 9,728 planes carrying over a million people, do you see that, in the sky at any given time. If there were twice as many people in the sky at any given time, how many people would it be? Write your answer in words. Okay, so it's saying twice as many as what was indicated. Okay, so we have to say two times that number. Okay, so because twice means two. Okay, let me just check I put that in correctly. I did indeed. Okay, but... Right? That's not where all the marks are going to come from. We have to write our answer in words. Okay, so I'm just going to say here, people. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. I always struggle to write this out, so let's do it together. So it's 2 million. Okay. Remember, when we write stuff in words, when we write a number in words, not stuff, sorry, that was very um, nondescript, um, we, 
we start from the left hand side and we move towards the right hand side. So we said 2 million, 500 and 40, is that how you spell 40? Yeah, 40,000, okay, 800, 800 and 12 people. Okay, let me just check I wrote that right. 2 million, 540, 812 people. Excellent. Okay, so we've written it all out and that is us. We smashed all the marks in this question. So let's now move on to the next question.